Okay, so what you have here is the pack contents uh, sent to you. You have the full instruction for use here, which shows you how to run your test. You've got a container of the special buffer solution, which puts the, the powders or um, white solution, uh, products into a solution for the test to run, and your special powder test panel here. Now, this will identify the presence of the 10 following drugs. We're looking for opiates, including all heroines, MDMA, which is ecstasy, cocaine, including crack cocaine residues, amphetamine or speed, methamphetamine crystal ice, methadone and methadone residues, all benzodiazepines, ketamine, buprenorphine, and cannabis residues. So if any of those are detected by this product, you will get a positive result, either in a powder or a substance, a solid solution, or a residue that's been left on the surface. So to run the test when you're ready to do so, the test panel is removed from its pouch. You will get a uh, pack of desiccant, which is just crystals to keep the powder, sorry, the, the drug test completely dry in its packaging. And then what you have here is a, a panel test, a double-sided panel test with the abbreviations for the drugs which each uh, membrane is detecting. And if you remove the cover, you will see five on one side and five on the other prongs coming out from the test. Now to wipe a surface, if you suspect there's been drugs mixed or used or contaminated on a surface, all you have to do is to wipe both sides of this panel across the surface. Now if there's any drug residue there, these membranes are designed to absorb and take up what's on that surface and those will give you a positive indicator of whether those drugs are on that surface. The other thing that you may come across wanting to do is where you've identified or found a powder or substance which again you suspect may contain a drug. Now to test this you can either run the membranes through the powder if it's a very low volume or if you have an element of the powder like this, this can be added into the cover of the drug test. And now at this stage, you are ready to add the special buffer into the panel cover. To do this, just unscrew the lid and squirt the buffer into the bottom of the cover. Agitate it slightly to make the solution and then place the panel back into the cover and push down until it locks. Now at that stage your powder residues will be in solution running up all of the membranes and anything that you've wiped the membranes through on a surface will again be reacting with the buffer and you'll see the membranes starting to go pink here as the drug tests are run. Both sides you should see. At this stage the test can be placed flat on a drying on absorbent surface and basically what you are now doing is waiting to read the test result and see if any of those 10 drugs have been identified either on the surface that you've wiped or in the powder that you may have added into the solution. So what we're going to do now is just leave this test membrane to run, come back and talk you through how to interpret your results.